Welcome to another episode of Are Your Designs Any Good? Introducing Are Your Designs Any Good with Shimmy Morris. That tune is without a doubt the best thing to ever happen to this YouTube channel. Anyways, without wasting too much of your time, if you haven't already subscribed, then please smash that subscribe button. And if you haven't liked the video, liking the video actually allows more people to come and watch my stuff. So please like the video just so that more people can come and see it. And if you want to submit your own artwork, your own designs, I should say, to this show, then the link is in the description. You can click that, you sign up, you put your email in, and you're able to send me one of your designs. But please follow the rules when sending your designs. And without further ado, let's start. There are three main criteria you've got. The first is where I just, you know, tell you what I think of the design. The second is how the targeting should work, what, what kind of targeting you could potentially do. And the third is what improvements need to be made with the design, whether or not you should actually even bother going for it. So that is what we're going to discuss in all these videos. And in case you haven't realized, I have changed the formatting quite a bit. Uh, these videos are slightly longer now. And as well as that, I've looked at the designs beforehand rather than just plonking a whole bunch of designs into this episode so that without a doubt, you get some good ones and some bad ones, or maybe just good ones so you can see what is good, what to replicate, what's working. Obviously, you know a copy, but what's working. Girls game it better. Game a girl. So I actually really like the saying, okay? The saying is great. Girls game it better is a great saying. People would wear this t-shirt, so that's nice. In terms of the fonts, you've got three fonts going on here. You've got the girls and the better. You've got the game and the it, and then you've got the game a girl way at the bottom. <sighs> It's all a bit misplaced. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. But we'll discuss it in the improvements. But what I like, what I like the saying. The saying is brilliant. Great saying. It's even targeted. You could target girls who are gamers. Nice and simple. Now that's targeting and what I like about it. The third. The third thing is improvements. Well, improvements are change the whole design. Okay. Honestly, change the whole design. You've got a good saying here. You just need to hone in on your design element. Maybe pay someone off five if you don't feel that you can make a decent design, but I just feel like the girls with the stars, no, doesn't work. The game it doesn't work. That single controller, I'm not sure what this pink paint splatter going on thing is. Yeah, no, don't like that at all. And then you've obviously got Gamer Girl right at the bottom. Look, the design could really, really be improved, so definitely try and improve on that design. Moving on, we've got that's quite a hard one. Pizza prank. The expression used when you ate additional when you ate additional four slices of pizza. I think it would should say when you ate an additional four slices of pizza. Even when you promise not to. I don't know why that's called a pizza prank. Um It's a funny definition obviously it's not real but it's a funny definition the emoji is not necessary i would actually take it straight out of google so obviously pizza prank isn't a real thing but make a whole google thing so it looks like a real definition that you see on google search that could be a bit better fix the grammar maybe a bit in this and i mean it's a solid design i guess you're targeting people who like pizza it's very broad but but possible but very possible and then in terms of improvements you've got to fix the grammar get rid of that emoji face very awkward. And then pizza prank, I feel like you can come up with a better um, word that would be funnier because it's not a prank to have four extra slices of pizza. That's not that's not a prank. Um, and then as a whole, the design idea that the saying and the, 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 the definition is funny, just change the design a bit, make the design a bit better. Aww. Right, next design, meow with a line underneath for some reason. Um, I love the cat drinking coffee. Looks like coffee to me. That's really, really good. That's really funny. Um, really cute as well. So <clears throat> well done there. Move it up a tiny bit so it's higher up on your on your chest. You don't want it down here. You want it higher up. And um, who are you targeting? You're targeting cat people. Maybe you're targeting cat and coffee people. It looks like they're drinking some form of coffee. Maybe if you have the words coffee on the mug, then it could be targeting cats and coffee, right? Because uh, cats and coffee is a pretty good niche. Get rid of, now in terms of improvements, get rid of the meow. It's it's pink, two variations of pink. It's a horrible font. It stands out. Get rid of meow. 
Get rid of that line underneath and just have the cat drinking coffee. You don't need any words. Not every design needs words. It's, it's surprising to think this, but actually there are some times where, uh, where a design is just so much better without words and sometimes words add like a gimmicky, cheesy effect. And here it's adding a cheesy effect. So get rid of the words and you're good to go. Next design. Let's match our frequencies. This is cool, actually. I like this. Um, the design is placed right, well done. It could be a tiny, tiny bit higher, but it's very good. I like the graphic. Um, I like the saying. Um, it's hurting my eyes. It's going like up and down in my eyes. But it's a pretty cool design, actually. I assume you target music people, people who are into music in any shape or form, guitar, piano, drums, whatever. Um, and then, yeah, it's a pretty good design. Nice, I like it. In terms of improvements, I wouldn't really say any improvements. Move it up a smidgen, but other than that, you're good. Moving on to what looks like a karate kid, Mr. Miyagi, that flying kick thingy, the crow, I think it's called. I don't know. Um, what is happening? Why is his face black? Like, all blacked out. And why is there a round sunset picture on his face? What is going on? I don't know if this is copyright. I want to say it's not because that's just, you know, someone doing karate. However, that is a very, very famous shot from the Karate Kid. So double check that. The Mr. Miyagi might be copyrighted. Um, and even if it's not copyrighted, I, you're targeting people who like Karate Kid. That's the targeting. Um, however, anyone who likes Karate Kid will not buy this. I don't know why you've silhouetted out his face and put a photo over it. Um, it's a very cool graphic though, like the drawing of Mr. Miyagi, like the shirt, the neck, it's the, the hair. It's very well drawn out. I don't know if this was you, but it's, it's, it's very good drawing. I just don't know why you ruined it with a sunset photo in the middle of his face. Right, moving on. I hate Mondays. And that's quite cool, actually. I mean, a lot of people hate Mondays. This can apply to a huge audience. So nice, hats off, I like that. Um, who are you targeting, though? You're targeting everyone, <laughs> pretty much. I don't hate Mondays. I like Mondays, actually. Uh, Mondays is when I can get back to work, but it's good. And I like that it's the 3D. I don't know what the word is for this. Um, if anyone knows the word, let me know in the comments. But when you have the black, the red, and the blue, it's like when you need those 3D glasses. Um, that's quite cool. I doubt it would actually be 3D if you wear glasses and look at this t-shirt, but it's cool because it also looks a bit blurry and it's fuzzy. And that's a lot of the time what people feel like on a Monday, a bit tired and fuzzy and they can't be bothered for work. So I think it actually goes really, really well. And you've placed it on the right part of the chest. So well done to you for doing that. Right, moving on to the next design, design seven. Teachers, Let me do that one again. Teacher's bottle. What on earth is going on here? Does anyone know what's going on here? Teacher's bottle, teacher's drink. Do teachers drink? I mean, everyone drinks, we need to survive. But um, what do I like? I'm going to skip past that. Who do you target? I wanna say teachers, but I'll probably skip past that too. And improvements. Leave it. I don't know what, where you're going with this design. It needs to be a bit more descriptive. It's a bit too vague for me. Uh, maybe it's over my head. Maybe there's something in the news that I've missed, but I feel like it's not very good, but I could be wrong. Guns be with us. Okay. The design is cool. The, the, the skull, the, the quality of the, it, like you can see it's very blurry and that's not my iPad. It, the design is very blurry. Um, the guns look like pellet guns, so maybe get some real guns going on in the background there. The roses are cool. It looks a bit like Guns and Roses, um, if I'm being honest. So that bit's really, really cool. I would remove the guns be with us. You don't need that there. It's, I don't know what it's doing. I don't know what it means. It could be something to do with the news, politics, Second Amendment. I don't know, but I don't feel like you need that there. You, you could just get away with the skull and the guns, but I would change those guns because they look like toys okay and who you target i guess you target second amendment people um gun lovers uh, uh the nra stuff like that 
Okay, next design. Oh, I like this. Tokyo. This is really nice. Oh, cool. Okay, move it a bit up on the chest. You can see how hers are kind of resting on her boobs. You don't want that. You want it to rest on her, like, just above. Right, well, obviously a bit on her boobs, but a bit above it as well. And then the actual design is cool. Can you make one for London? I would actually like to see that. I love that. I love the colors. I don't know if you made this or you designed it or you painted this or I don't know how, but it's really, really cool. I love this design. In terms of targeting though, targeting you're going to struggle with here because I don't know who you're targeting. Um, I guess if you have a brand, then this could be just for, you know, it doesn't need to be targeted because it's your whole brand and you could use that in your tags. But if you don't have a brand, you're probably going to struggle here a bit targeting. However, when someone does see the design, eventually in all the pages and pages of whatever it is, Redbubble or Teespring, then they would probably look to buy it because I think it's a really cool design and it would make me stop uh, and, you know, click on it and have a look. So I, I kind of like this. Well done. Lake night. Okay. Um, this is cool. Really cool. I love the graphic. I love the colors. I love the fade. I love the square on the t-shirt. The and I like that this t-shirt is one of those um, triple colored knit ones. You know what I mean? Where it's not just a plain white or plain black. It's Heather. I think the word is Heather. I like that a lot. Um, in terms of who you're targeting, I have no idea. No people who like traveling, who like going on kayaks. I don't know who like the sunset. I don't know. It's, it's hard. It's hard to say who you're targeting there. You could just go with generic tags and hope that people buy. In terms of improvements, I would say get rid of the lake night. Just have the picture. You don't need the lake night. I don't know why you've written lake night. Um, not necessary. It would look so much better if it didn't have the words lake night. So maybe just get rid of that entirely and then you're good to go. Right, one more design for this because we're ready up to 13 minutes. Fat Corgi Adventure. This is cool. I like the graphics. Did you draw these graphics yourself? I think you did because you've got Corgi on the bag over there. I know it's like a lot of people will look at this and think, you know, this is like childish kind of graphics. But to me, it reminds me of Royal Dull. You know, anyone here ever read the book Royal Dull books? This is very much like that kind of art, and it's really, really cool. Um, I don't know who you're targeting. I guess you're targeting people who like corgis um, and camping and adventures and traveling and tenting and that kind of stuff. Um, in terms of improvements, I would get rid of Fat Corgi Adventure, and I would just have the 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 the, the, the dog and the camping pictures you don't i think what's ruining it for you is the fat corgi font and the adventure bit but everything else is spot on so i would get rid of that and just keep the images but other than that i really like it well done it's it's really good honestly i like this style of art it's very very cool right should we move on to the next line yeah let's do one more design let's make it around 15 minutes okay we have got a bottle of wine and a glass with a round circle i assume is the wine um the design is cool there's this type of art that's been going around i've seen it recently a lot on redbubble i don't remember what it's called so apologies for the fact that um this has gone over my head but the actual design is very cool it's very simplistic it's simple it's nice it's clean it's a good pajama top um it's a good i i guess your target wine lovers um i love the simplicity of it i think it's very cool it's not targeted very well um, and it, 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 it maybe needs to move up a tiny bit on the chest. But it, other than that, in terms of improvements, I think it's quite cool. I do like it. Maybe, maybe have like a black square. So you've got the round circle on the wine. Just from an artistic graphical point of view, maybe have a black square on the wine bottle just off of the wine bottle a bit you'll see I'll, I'll put one in here if i can remember to do this in the edit but maybe have like a little black square there because that shows like the label of the bottle and then the red circle shows the wine in the glass that could be quite cool right that is it for this episode let me know what you think in the comments let me know if i got to one of yours and if i didn't get to one of yours don't worry i will eventually get there i have got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of emails from everyone asking me to review their design. So apologies if I don't get to yours or if I entirely 
miss it. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this episode. This was a wicked episode. There were some really, really, really good designs. And I love this new format where, you know, I'm making sure that there are good designs on every episode. It's just so much better. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.